Don't be afraid of enemies who have attacked you. Rather, be afraid of the friends who flatter you. I discovered, quite by accident, how richly it sometimes pays to let the other person do the talking. Three-fourths of the people you will ever meet are hungering and thirsty for sympathy. Give it to them, and they will love you. Be wiser than other people, if you can, but do not tell them so. You can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. Any fool can criticize, complain, and condemn, and most fools do, but it takes character and self-control to be understanding and forgiving. When dealing with people, remember, you are not dealing with creatures of logic, but with creatures bristling with prejudice and motivated by pride and vanity. Talk to someone about themselves and they'll listen for hours. It took me years and cost me countless thousands of dollars in lost business before I finally learned that it doesn't pay to argue that it is much more profitable and much more interesting to look at things from the other person's viewpoint and try to get that person saying yes, yes. You can't win an argument you can't, because if you lose it, you lose it. And if you win it, you still lose it. Personally, I am very fond of strawberries and cream, but I have found that for some strange reason, fish prefer worms. So when I went fishing, I didn't think about what I wanted Rather, I thought about what they wanted. I didn't bait the hook with strawberries and cream. Instead, I dangled a worm or grasshopper in front of the fish and said, wouldn't you like to have that? Why not use the same common sense when fishing for people? To be interesting, be interested. A person's name is to that person the sweetest and most important sound in any language. I have come to the conclusion that there is only one way under the high heavens to get the best of an argument and that is to avoid it completely. Avoid it as you would rattlesnakes and earthquakes. If you want to gather honey, don't kick over the beehive. All men have fears, but the brave put down their fears and go forward, sometimes even into death, but always to victory. Why talk? Uh, what we want, that is childish, absurd. Of course you are interested in what you want. You are eternally interested in it, but no one else is. The rest of us are just like you. We are interested only in what we want. Criticism is dangerous because it wounds a person's precious pride, hurts his sense of importance, 
and arouses resentment. By fighting, you never get enough, but by yielding, you get more than you expected. Once I did bad, and that I heard, for ever, twice I did good, but that I heard, never. If you argue, and rankle and contradict, you may achieve a victory, sometimes, but it will always be an empty victory, because you will never get your opponent's good will. Only knowledge that is used sticks in your mind. Remember, a barber ladders a man before he shaves him. The chronic kicker, even the most violent critic, will frequently soften and be subdued in the presence of a patient, sympathetic listener, a listener who will be silent whilst the irate fault finder dilates like a king cobra and spews the poison out of his system. If there is any one secret of success, it lies in the ability to get the other person's point of view and see things from that person's angle as well as from your own. The world is full of people who are grabbing and self-seeking, so the rare individual who unselfishly tries to serve others has an enormous advantage. Give honest, sincere appreciation. Be hearty in your approbation and lavish in your praise. And people will cherish your words and treasure them and repeat them over a lifetime. Repeat them years after you have forgotten them. If you want to make friends, then put yourself out to do things for other people, things that require time, energy, unselfishness, and thoughtfulness. Always remember, other people may be totally wrong, but they do not think so. Don't condemn them. Any fool can do that. Rather, try to understand them. Only wise, tolerant, and exceptional people even try to do so. Every man, I mean, is my superior in some way, in that I learn often. Pay less attention to what men say. Just watch what they do. The only way I could get you to do anything is by giving you what you want. It raises one above the herd and gives one a feeling of nobility and exultation to admit one's mistakes. The only way to influence people is to talk in terms of what the other person wants. Your smile is a messenger of your goodwill. Your smile brightens the lives of all who see it. The ability to remember names is almost as important in business and social contacts as it is in politics. Every act you have ever performed since the day you were born was performed because you wanted something. All men have fears, but the brave put down their fears and go forward. Abilities wither under criticism, 
But Blossom, Hunter, encouragement.